Let's take a look at this video from Educated Collins. Uh, this was recommended to me on, on, on by the YouTube algorithm and, and the title caught my attention. Marvel Snap's matchmaking system is fundamentally broken and how to fix it. So we have talked about the matchmaking several times. So I just wanted to take a look at this to see what he has to say about it. Uh, because this is a topic that it is, is inter interesting to us, right? So let's see what he has to say. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I want to talk about a very important topic. I want to talk about how Marvel Snap's matchmaking system is fundamentally broken. So um, if you look, uh, it's been less than 24 hours since the new season came out and i've already hit infinite rank so brother yes they, 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 this dude is insane he's already at infinite and i have seen other people that is already at infinite like the km best is in infinite one of of my boys that streams the game a lot uh, code deco uh, he was the number one in the world uh, last season and he comes to my chat regularly he's one of my boys where well, they, they are two dudes they are Dem demo and como they they reached like 140 in the infinite track in the first day brother it was insane there are people that are insane at this game that just get infinite the first day brother that i i, I wouldn't be like impressed i'd be like more curious how is that possible how can i have already hit infinite rank so early into the season and it's not just me also, other very strong best. players, Check it out. KM Best, Code Dico. Ahí they está Code Dico. And I said it in Spanish. Ahí está. There it is, Code Dico. Those are my boys, brother. Those are my boys. I used to, I used to talk about them, and he chose them right there. Brother, they, they are insane at the game, dude. And I am, uh, we are like, what, two or three days after the patch, and I, had, I am at 84 right now. And I... I am not really good at the game, but I not I don't suck either, brother. I don't suck either, and I am only at 84, brother. So they are really, really good. So already made infinite, less than 24 hours in, almost less than 12 hours in. I I did in like a couple hours. They did. Oh, by the way, you guys don't see that because I I have my cam in there, but there you can see that he put the codeco uh, in there. Check that out. I will flip this so it matches better. There you go. Very similar time. How is that possible that these players are hitting infinite so quickly? Now, my the friend. idea for this video came after reading a post on Reddit, why Marvel Snap's matchmaking is broken, how to fix it. I think this was definitely a very good starting point. It did uh, uh, highlight a lot of issues in the matchmaking system and give me the idea to do some research, figure out what's actually going on and they did have a good band-aid solution where um they want to prioritize rank uh if you're not yet infinite but this problem will still persist after infinite so we're gonna need a little bit more changes in that but definitely a good initial starting point so i want to talk about how matchmaking works you need to understand that i will say that i'm just a random player Right, I don't have the information, the perfect information of what the actual of course. matchmaking looks like. And, and, and we all do this, like, uh, we speculate about the matchmaking, but we don't know for sure because the only ones that have the real information, the algorithm and the data are second dinner. The, the best we can do are guesses, brother. That is the truth. Of course, we try to, to approximate things by, by uh, observing how the, uh, the system works, right? Kind of what I've gathered through playing and, and through observation of what the system probably is. So under 600 collection level, what's, there's going to be some collection level buckets, and you're going to be matched up against other people in those buckets. So essentially this is an accurate like zero to a hundred collection level player will match up against a zero to a hundred collection level opponent 100 to 200 will match up in, in, into someone in 100 to 200 range so there's there's a limited amount of range 
of the types of opponents you can fight so that that's kind of which i know that a lot of people will say that this is cool that happens so when you are new you don't face someone that has a lot of fucking cards but i don't like that you can be uh, much uh, in terms of collection level because collection level doesn't takes into consideration your skill so what happens is that there are people and yes it happened last season there was one dude that remained on pool one and he was on the leaderboard like in the top 10 people more ranked in the game but he remained at pool one to exploit the system because he just faced weak opponents brother that is fucking stupid that devaluates what being infinite means because it doesn't uh, being infinite doesn't have the same worth to everyone because it, because it depends on your region it depends on your collection level it depends on several budgets so you don't feel that proud to say oh i am infinite because it doesn't matter because a dude at 200 collection level can be infinite, which is fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe I didn't choose the best words to express that, but I believe you understand what I'm saying. I will probably try to climb ranked mode once on ranked mode comes out, cause some days I wanna try in ranked, but most other days I wanna just have fun playing whatever deck I want, so I need on ranked mode for that. That is true, that is, there is a lot of people that have that same sentiment as you, my brother Ranked. Can do both in ranked mode because I lose cubes that way and getting high in ranked mode makes completing missions harder. Yes, and, and, and you will, let's say one day you want to try hard and you will climb 10 ranks, but the other the, the next day you want to have fun and you will rank 14 ranks so you won't make any progress. Kind of how it works until 600 and then once you hit 600, this matchmaking disappears and it becomes essentially replaced with an MMR matchmaking system where now you, you're you using MMR as more of the determining factor for your rank, uh, zero to 100 MMR, quote unquote, like that doesn't really mean anything. Exactly, we'll exactly, we understand that, my brother. It that is just a random MMR number that you put in there. 100 to 200 will be matched into that same MMR range, 200 to 300 and so forth, right? So you get you get placed into these little buckets based on your MMR and you don't you don't really fight people outside of that range uh, basically what i what i've noticed so the game tries to find an opponent in your mmr range with a certain amount of time if they can't find anyone then you'll fight a bot so bot games also affect your mmr uh, however you'll get less mmr for winning against the bot and you'll lose more mmr for losing against is this truth is this confirmed i don't know if this is true maybe this is just a theory or a hypothesis that he has but i don't know for sure if a bot gives you more uh, gives you less or loses you more i don't know this for sure it it makes sense because you are facing a bot you should win but i don't know if if, if that is the case you know the bot and after uh, a reset the season is over and you go into a new season your MMR gets compressed, but not removed. So if you have like, you know, 700 MMR, it will get compressed down, but you're not losing that essential 700 MMR worth of progression. So I do have like a... Well, I, I have to say something. Uh, at the end of the last season, some of you may know that I was intentionally throwing games. I, I was an, at infinite and I was farming boosters for some cards because I want to take all my base cards, not variants, not splits, the base cards to the infinity border because I believe the infinity border is the cutest. So I, I was farming boosters and I just throw games left and right and gifted people eight cubes in all my games brother i throw i throw through i threw over 300 games something crazy like that and i and i i thought well is the if this bullshit functions on mmr i am just tanking my mmr because i am losing and losing and losing and i started this season and I said, well, I am going to face weak opponents because I tanked my MMR, right? Well, no, brother. I said I, I, I am facing the same as some people that I faced last season when I was trying to climb. So I don't know really how this bullshit works, brother. I don't really know how this bullshit works, dude. A visual indicator try to help people who are more visually inclined 
here we have like maybe someone a uh, very low MMR range. Here we have like the average player uh, or so, right? They're they're in their own MMR bracket, and then we have like uh, very high skilled players, high wind players. They're going to be significantly higher in the MMR range, but they're still there. And then we have like these extreme outliers, right? So that's you know me, KM Best, Codeco, like people that just have such a huge MMR range that there is a clear gap between them and, and lot and most of the other players. So after a reset, even though it gets compressed, right? So the MMR shrinks down, you're there's still there's still gonna be a huge gap between those players and everyone else because compression doesn't neutralize the advantage right it yes what he's trying to say is that that you get in theory oh you get in theory less mmr but uh you get you still are in in the relative distance to the other players is the same you know that is what he's trying to say or at least what i am understanding makes it less uh, less prominent so uh, it's kind of interesting due to this the way this uh function i even after the reset, I'm still playing against the same high level players. So even though we just had a reset, I'm still playing against KM Best. I'm still playing against the same exact people I was fighting against before the reset. It's like nothing changed. I'm still getting bots. Like I, I couldn't believe this when I was, I was climbing today. I'm like rank 75 or, or whatever and I'm I'm queuing into a bot how is like I was thinking how is that possible I shouldn't be able to get a bot there's so exactly the, the pool of players in that bracket should be high you know should be so high that you don't need to face a bot if you take into consideration the rank that you are at rank 70 or rank 80 you don't need a bot at, at that uh, rank but since they are taking into consideration the MMR first, then you can get a bot because they don't have a player with your same MMR to match you with. So many people at this rank, it, it, it doesn't really make sense that I should have this extremely... It's it almost depressing experience where <laughs> I'm trying to queue into some players, I'm trying to test out new strategies, but no. Like I still have the same high MMR and other people are going to have the same MMR. I'm only fighting these hyper elite players or bots. Like there's no in between. I don't get to really practice the the, the hyper elite players are just running like toxic Zabu because they know that's that's how they win. Right. They're not going to they're not going to try new things and like maybe after they hit infinite. But while they're climbing to infinite, they're not. So it's just it's just a toxic game versus very strong opponents or it's just a, a free game versus bots so it just doesn't really feel like i'm playing the game or you know or really having a very similar experience of, of most other players that just experienced a reset the experience is just too similar to when i was ranked 600 right before the reset it feels almost exactly the same i don't feel like i i i, I Brother, uh, went the dude got 600 so this dude is really good at the game right 600 is a lot and it is a lot of grinding too brother so he plays a lot oh so obviously we're gonna need some suggestions right what should we do about this so first suggestion i think instead of compressing the mmr like we saw before there should be a hard mmr reset cap so if we go back to this right instead of it being compressed like this there should just be like a hard limit like maybe uh around like this area where if you're past that point in compression you all the players at uh past that point just go to that hard cap so you don't have someone who let's say they had like 10,000 or a thousand mmr and most players had like 600 or 400 mmr that player shouldn't start so far ahead that that makes sense in a way because in marvel snap you have ranks which are effectively your rank and it is not the same as a game as dora where you would be uh, mad if they reset your mmr you know 
so maybe that can make sense in a snap but what would happen is that the first days of their season would be extremely chaotic and they would be really painful for the weak player so let's imagine that you well everybody let's say that a, a strong player a, a somewhat good player that was going to get infinite gets to 99 before the end of the season and they didn't reach infinite they they got a stock at 99 they will get demoted to 60 by the way the because of the way the system works they won't get demoted to 70 but to 60 so they will fight a player that uh, was uh, i don't know 90 but not infinite you know what i'm saying so those first days you will have overlap and this will happen in every rank of the ladder and this will happen on 72 like is it is the same a dude that just reached infinite as a dude that got 500 on infinite maybe it is not the same so the first days of the season you will have a chaotic system where matchmaking will be really unfair brother and a lot of people will dislike that and will maybe avoid playing on the first days uh, meanwhile they wait for the for the mmr to settle down so they can play with people with similar ability do you guys understand what i'm trying to say so yes i agree this can work but at the same time what i'm saying can happen too all they see is bots there should be this floor that makes sense where all the high uh, mmr players should all start together there shouldn't be this this huge gap of, of mmr making me only fight like four different players while well as climbing to infinite that doesn't make sense Second suggestion is to remove MMR fluctuations from bot matches. I think having bot matches change your rank just doesn't make sense. Uh, good players will pretty much never lose uh, m tons of cubes to bots. Like that's that's not going to happen if if you understand how bots play, what they feel like. So. It, it basically gives this free infinite farming MMR inflation system. I'll be honest, I am one of those idiots that never knows if I am playing against a dude or a bot. So I don't know how to leverage if I am playing against a bot because I am a stupid. <laughs> because you're just farming the bots, right? The, the players will be, the humans will be more difficult. Bots, good players will farm. So once you get into that, bracket where it's harder to find opponents and you see bots the bots just inflate your mmr so you just infinitely keep having a much higher mmr range than anyone else who's in the trenches in against mostly humans so just remove the mmr fluctuations from bots we don't need it and just have your mmr be determined by the uh human players that you face and then uh, third suggestion, this is a suggestion from that Reddit post. You prioritize. So I, I, I kind of agree with that in a way. If you are infinite, right? But if you are climbing, you want the, you want the cubes, right? But the, oh, but the MMR inside doesn't change. Oh, I agree with this. So the bot gives you the cubes, of course, but the MMR internally doesn't change if you play against a bot, if you win or lose. That is a cool idea. That is a cool idea because it is not your fault that you have to face a bot, right? It, that is a fault of the game itself. Prioritize rank as the main matchmaking metric before you hit infinite. So a person that's in rank 85 should not fight a person in rank 400 because their MMRs are similar. Until until they hit infinite, right? If they hit infinite once they're past 100, yeah, then it doesn't matter, right? The uh, the ranking after infinite doesn't really make sense. But I think you should have people in rank 85 fight other people like around that same rank. It doesn't make sense that I'm fighting players that haven't hit infinite 
yet when I'm 300 ranks above him. It doesn't make sense to me. So exactly, I would, I would... and this is some, something that a lot of people complain about because you are 70, you are 80, you are trying to climb, and then you face against and and do that is at infinite, and you know that he's at infinite because he has the title or he has the card back, and you know well this dude is at infinite. It is unfair that they are matching me against him. And a lot of people complain about that. Some other people say, brother, if you want to get to infinite, you have to be the infinite player. So that is the way of the system testing you if you have what it takes to climb. And that is kind of true. But, but again, it is unfair that a dude at 70 or 80 matches against a dude that is 300 on infinite, brother. Let's be honest. That is unfair too. It is true that you have to improve to climb up. But at the same time, that is fucking bullshit that, that, that you have that big of a gap. But again, I understand that you need to match players that are at infinite with non-infinite players because... If not, they will be always be playing against bots because the infinite player pool isn't that big. And as Second Dinner has said, not enough people are reaching infinite. So to be able to match these people with real people and not only bots, they need to increase the bracket in which they can play, right? Maybe this can be fixed once we have a global matchmaking because there will be more people to match against with you. Maybe this can help with the problem and I hope it does. I would like that as well. As well as um, people can game the system where they just hit infinite and then lose a ton of rankings and then they're just fighting people in the rank 60s rank 50s because their mmr is so low so i definitely think if you prioritize rank before infinite you'd solve a lot of these issues more people could hit infinite and it'll feel a lot better overall and then the final suggestion is just creating a real ranked mode without bots uh, current mode could be casual i just think that with the bots in, it's hard to have this prestige. It's hard to have this real competitive environment for for serious players like myself, where these the bots just change the dynamic of how you want to play, how you want to design decks, how you want to snap. It. I completely agree with what he's saying in here, brother. A hundred percent. You don't value the the system the same, and some people don't value the ah you are 500. It doesn't matter because you face 90 percent bots. Whoever can face bots in there, and some people uh, take away the the accomplishment from that. I still believe it is a it, it is a feat that you get so high. But yes, a lot of people will say you face a lot of bots to get in there. And the other thing is what I said earlier that collection level matters, and infinite isn't worth the same to everybody. That is fucking bullshit. Give me a true ranked ladder, brother. Where when you if you hit the infinite, it is because you deserve it. Maybe in that true ranked ladder, I won't ever get to infinite. I don't give a fuck. I want the real true ranked ladder, you know. When all that matters is a skill. You climb up if you are good, or you don't climb up if you are not good. And that is all. I don't give a fuck if my cues are five minutes long. Just give me the true ranked experience, brother. It just changes so much. So I would like to have, you know, maybe uh, a ranked mode. Obviously, it's going to be longer queue. But if you if you go into that mode, you know you know that going in. Exactly. And it can just create this serious environment for players down the line. So those would be my suggestions. Definitely think the MR system right now doesn't really help everyone. It doesn't feel that great. And I think some of these suggestions could help uh, create a better experience. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something about MMR. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Yo, Educated Collins, this was a cool video, brother. Those were uh, some cool suggestions. And, and of course, it made, it made us talk about cool stuff about the matchmaking. Thanks for the video, my dude. Thanks for the video. This was cool.